Alright, hey guys, today I'm out here and I'm gonna be showing you how to build a rabbit trap. I'm here with Joe from Backyard MTV and we've got Hamish from Haphazards, he's behind the camera. So, yeah, let's get into it. For the first step, you want to go for a little walk and see if you can find a, a track where the rabbits have been travelling by. Um, you also want to have a nice tree or branch or like sapling that's got a bit of spring in it because that's going to be needed for the trap. Okay, so next up we just want to cut a little taper into these sticks. <laughs> and yeah, so we can just smack them into the ground. So I've cut the two tapers and now we've just got to cut a couple of notches so this stick can sit in between them and then release under pressure. So we'll start doing that. Alright, so I've just cut out these two notches in the sticks and now the third stick should sit in there just like that and when it's got pressure on it uh, well the pressure is going to be on it and it won't come off but as soon as it's knocked it'll come off alright so we're just going to smack these in on either side of the trail and you want to have the notch you cut out facing away from the like springy tree that you found Ah, looks good. So this will sit here. Well, it will. And uh, let's get the rope. Turned on nice, so um, the rabbit, once it's caught, can't get away. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now we just want to tie like a little noose. So we just got to tie a knot on again, just like before. And obviously this rope or bailing twine is very quite visible but you should be able to get some snare wire or fishing line and make a better one so i'm just showing you this for the purpose of showing you you want to get someone tall to reach up and grab the tree down which is where hamish comes in don't step on the stick a little bit further down maybe oh that is not good. And there goes the tree. <laughs> I guess we're not using that tree. Mm. Okay, so before that tree snapped, it would have worked, but now it's not going to. So I will show you how it would have worked. So you can still make one. Okay, so that would have sat in there with this noose facing forwards. Gotta adjust it a bit. Alright, and then this stick would have had pressure on it. Come up here. Like what did you show you? So like it would have been attached to the tree which was sprung down so that when an unsuspecting rabbit came through and got stuck, he would have knocked it off, the tree would have sprung up, and he gets strangled. Alright, 
So once you've got it uh, set up, like obviously the tree snapped, so I've got Hamish holding it. Now we just wait for an unsuspecting rabbit to come. Here comes the elusive Australian hare. 